Grand Rising Wonderful Souls. Welcome to Promise Code Tarot. Um, this is a collective timeless reading. This is part two. Um, just looking at um, heart healing and the energy that was coming up is someone who was there's a lot of arguments happening in the house to do with it was to do with not being able to keep someone in their south node okay because it says don't let your past hold you back but there was a lot of arguments in this house something to do with a child slowing them down but it was also a, a realization from whoever it was that left them that they had been bound or that they had been tied to a responsibility or a, um, some sort of contractual uh, obligation that actually wasn't for their highest and greatest good because you have got the sun sign we have got sun which is the creation of and then you have don't let your hold, don't let your past hold you back someone was trying to create this somebody was trying to also mirror your energy onto themselves so that whoever they were with would think that that was their divine counterpart okay but something came to light okay that brought on this separation and it brought the separation on very very quickly and here you've got you know the coffin card which says endings bring new beginnings all right this person didn't want to come out of their comfort zone i will say you know um also, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you for your emails of confirmation, your emails of bookings. If I haven't got to you yet, I will do. I had um, a day off yesterday which and I was out. Um, so the emails do pile up very quickly. I will get to it, don't worry. Look, time to breathe out and look at the bigger picture. This is also um, a calling for whoever it is that has been you know, going through trials and tribulations, that's had a lot of towers in their life and has healed through them and worked through them you're being told at the moment this is the time to breathe out okay because you've also got south node underneath here and you've been told remember to breathe out somebody is trying they're going to keep trying they're going to keep trying because whoever it is is very very unhealed and they're kind of pushing against their own the ending of their own karmic cycle in actually learning what it is that the divine the universe the cosmos is trying to teach them okay but you have to remember that this is their energy and when things are sent to us fine okay they've sent it to us um what do we do we just we brush it off we send it back and we can continue on okay because it says now is not the time to get angry now is not the time to um also when i look on here with rising sign and taurus slow steady and capable now is not the time to get hit up okay because we are still going through heart space healing with, with um lionsgate being open and with it being open it means that our heart chakras are open so everything that has been repressed anything that hasn't been healed is going to come to the forefront and the last thing you want is to be leading with a heart wound okay so breathe out my lovely ones okay and you've also got here leo as well and time to take a breathe out there was some sort of um there's an energy here of a relationship okay whether that's with somebody who's very unhealed or with a light one so this could be past present or future energy of there being some sort of hiatus of a separation of you know moving away from being in union and there was some sort of communication and i heard through lawyers and also it seems to be going through the grapevine as well okay um some sort of um I want a hiatus on this relationship or I want my boundaries or I want to I want to take time for myself and it brought a lot of grief to whoever this unhealed person was okay because you've also got Gemini energy here as well you could be a Gemini they could be a, a Gemini or this could just be the energy um, that is coming out for this read about this situation okay but this is your third house okay and somebody in the community has been talking about I think this is to do with more with this community with it being upside down it's whoever they were working with because Gemini is coming up here again you have somebody who has been um, giving bad advice is what I heard giving bad advice to somebody to kind of egg them on because you've got to hold your vision and look at the bigger picture you also have somebody here who was um, getting financial aid or getting financial um, advice because I heard sue her or sue him to sue someone. Um, I'm hearing someone from like a spiritual community was giving advice. So that could have been a pastor. It could have been um, 
I'm trying to think of <laughs> other spiritual kind of, but it's somebody who is held in high regards in a community um, to do with spirituality or religion, okay? But this person was very um, forthright and very pushy in um, hurrying this person to do this. They may also have pushed them to go towards somebody in the community, someone taboo, because um, I'm hearing witch doctor. But you have here, it says here, with rising sign in Leo, uh, magnetic, enthusiastic and driven. So whoever it was in the community holds a lot of um, sway and holds a lot of weight in how people listen to them. And this person was telling them to, you know, don't worry, relax. I will, um, I'm going to help you out with this. But they gave them bad advice because you've got double Leo here, okay? They gave them bad advice. They were telling them to look at the bigger picture with money, something about continuing on, because you've got Lost Book of Souls down here, to continue what they were doing, but to work with someone else, don't worry if this person has left. We can still continue this, just us lot together. What do you need to release? This person pur purposely was trying to um, stop this person from coming out of a, a cycle was stopping them from healing even though this person may be a pastor or a spiritual leader because they knew there was money in there because you've got the second house here the second house in taurus okay which is what what you value your your your, your resources and your beliefs someone was pushing someone to stay in their shadow that's very interesting. Some of you was pushing also for this person to be unhealed or not to get the, me the mental health support that they, they needed, okay, because they saw this as being beneficial money-wise. Now, that could be a light person that, that, you know, this stuff has been sent to, or this could be the unhealed person that was being manipulated by someone else. Anything else that would like to come out? Libra, co corporation to, to, per to perfect, yeah. This person... Whoever it was who was in grief over this separation, over whoever it was that moved away from them because they figured out that that's not actually their divine counterpart, was being manipulated themselves by um, somebody who they trusted, somebody that they went to for advice, okay? Somebody who should have been asking them to align their, their life, you know, what is it, what is not aligned or needs to change. And instead, this person was, um, you know, pushing them to continue what they were doing because of the money that came in. The, and you know with Scorpio here as well this person was you know with the darker side of Scorpio being um when it comes to intimacy being very aloof because underneath this card there's one that says distance they were purposely distancing this person from finding healing and finding balance because here you've got um balanced spirituality with practicality full moon in Pisces and it's a time to take action they, they should have given them the advice that actually, no, you need to find your centre, you need to heal, you may need therapy. Um, it's not time to do anything. And instead, they push them to go the other way. Okay, look, Libra's coming out again. All right. Resulting from a fairness shown by. They they kind of gave the, um, the guise of being a very fair person. You know, I'm going to actually pay you to continue doing this and I want to cut off ABC. Okay, but balance spirituality with practicality. You're also being told that whoever it is that's coming forward towards you or this light one with this business deal, you have Libra energy here, okay, which is the seventh house. Um, to to especially with, with Pisces coming out, and Pisces being in the twelfth house is all about um, it's definitely about connecting spiritually, but it's also about endings and beginnings. So you have somebody here who is actually going to come forward to help you with this massive energy shift that we're going through or this change that's coming through because you've also got Mars here, okay? Now you have action, action and Libra. Somebody here was pushed into a partnership that they didn't want as well. So whoever it is that has left, has moved on from this codependent relationship may have been pushed into this relationship by other family members by um somebody that saw it as being very beneficial but not for that person okay because with mars as well mars is um a very fiery energy so you have a fire sign here okay fire signs can be leo aries or sagittarius so you and you have a lot of leo here as well but someone saw it as very beneficial to keep this person in a toxic relationship because again it's coming out balance spirituality and practicality pisces let's pop this out here okay this person though whoever it is that moved away that separated they took the time to reflect on where they were in life 
and you know maybe came to that realization that we co-create what it is that we want in our life we aren't victims of things just happening to us we we either draw that stuff in or we are responsible for the actions that bring those things in and you know um someone was trying to block this person from having this epiphany or having this you know um spiritual awakening but when this person did that's when they moved away when they realized that you know this toxicity in their life where they don't have any boundaries is part and parcel because they created it because they allowed it because they let down their boundaries and that's when they moved away okay but you definitely have someone here that has been trying to stop also a light one from releasing energy from um letting go of trauma or even recognizing that trauma was there okay now this could be you this could be a, another person you're thinking of this could be a light one or this could be the divine counterpart okay yeah because you've also got work through your fears uh, new moon in scorpio which is upside down someone was blocking this person from being able to deal with any trauma that they had whether that was keeping them in a fight flight or free stance or whether that was just constantly having chaos in that home and you've also got mercury okay many thoughts about or from yeah they were just keeping this person constantly in um an anxious state so they couldn't really stop and focus on themselves anything else that would like to come out please and thank you anything else that would like to come out yeah you've also got eighth house again okay so this is all to do with this is scorpio but you've also got on here personal power this person took back their own personal power you know going through a dark night of the soul or realizing that there are certain things in our lives that no longer lift us up especially when we become very comfortable in that it can be very difficult to walk away and when you do walk away whoever it is that has been energy harvesting or feeding from you or you know spending your money or just whatever it is they're not going to want to let go of their food source so this person with major change on there as well mysteries of life this person started to listen to themselves more and started to find worth in themselves more which is when they walked away interesting you've also got to step out of your comfort zone north node yeah they they were purposely made to trip up and kind of um just get used to the monotony of life and going home there'd be arguments you know um so on so forth until they said this is enough i'm walking away from this and the belief in the impossible with um the ninth house as well you have someone who was constantly trying to tell this person i keep getting mother energy so i don't know if this is mother-in-law um keep telling this person that they were wrong to feel like this or they were in the wrong or they were useless or they weren't you know just keep pushing this person down because with north node coming out as well somebody was constantly trying to dim this person's light trying to stop them from following passions lead because following passions lead would mean moving them away from their toxic partner yeah interesting what else would like to come out please and thank you 11th house so you have aquarius energy here as well all right there may have also been um this is a friendship circle uh, but i'm getting more rather than just a circle of friends that this is associates there are associates here i don't know if this person that removed themselves from this toxic um partnership was going and talking to their friends getting advice or if this is the reverse because especially with this birth chart being underneath you know and putting all the dots together um somebody here if this is not the toxic partner or it could be the mother-in-law <clears throat> we're talking to their friends about how to continue to manipulate okay and it's a time for healing upside down yeah they, they were finding newer ways especially with aquarians being quite eccentric and thinking outside of the box they were trying to come up with different ways of keeping this person subdued or keeping this person in this relationship but doing it in a way that they would question their own you know um i was going to say sanity but it's more to do with um gaslighting they wanted to find ways of doing it that were nuanced and um quite subtle because look appreciation and it's time for healing there may have been a lot of gaslighting in this relationship and that's irrespective of gender whether this is a divine feminine or a divine masculine that this was happening to the energy is gaining momentum so yeah for a very long time they were doing this um and i think it got to a breaking point where this divine masculine or feminine said i've had enough 
what else do I need to know? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I've been told to change decks, so I'll take these last two out. Pisces and Mars. So you have a Pisces here who was um, very driven in keeping this person in this relationship and keeping them away from you, the person you're thinking of, or, or a light, another light one. Okay. And be part of something overwhelming. This may be the mother-in-law. This could be a different energy, okay? But this was very much about control, okay? Take the time to breathe out. This person wasn't. This person was very driven and keeping, because I heard moneymaker, okay? It was um, in their best interest, or do your, I heard you're part of the deal to keep this person away from whoever the divine counterpart actually was. And it says, don't let, your, don't let pride get in your way. This came out in my previous video, part one. Okay, so you also have a Leo here who was very driven by um, pride. So they may have been somebody, because I keep hearing like a mother hen who's cl clucking. They may have been someone who um, kind of boasts over how they are able to manipulate others and how easy it is. So there was a lot on the line, not only what they, their contractual obligations to whoever, but also to whoever this community is here. You know, keeping face, keeping their reputation. You want me to change decks? Okay, what deck should I take out this one? Okay. What else would like to come out for the Divine Collective? Smoke Lens. This person may also still have cords. Um, you've got a makeup artist here as well. There's somebody who still has cords to that toxic time in their life, whether that is past, present or future energy. Um, this person is still learning how to heal. Um, and I heard, but I heard it's the partner. It's the person that has been sending things or working in, in, in cahoots with either this mother-in-law or whoever this toxic community is. They keep trying to attach cords. So that's why it's imperative that you continue with your spiritual practice in any which way you, you practice, but ensuring that you are removing those energetic cords frequently. And I don't mean like do it once and then next month do it. You may need to do it once a week. You may want to be taking your spiritual baths, you know, once a day. Because um, you've got law of abundance is working in your favour. And then it says smoke lens and it's the right way up. You're being asked to remove any ties to people, places, things, events that no longer serve you. Whether or not that you do that, you know, with lighting candles or magic or visualisations, whatever works for you. However, you're being asked to focus on times in your life that you know did disempower you because i'm not saying focus on it and think about that all day but take time to recognize the things that you have been through um or if this is for someone that you're thinking of that they have been through or this light one needs to do this and also this is also a double message this is for those who have who are completely unhealed who are still stuck in their cycle they need to take time if you want to get out of that cycle you know you have to address why you're stuck in the cycle in the first place okay because when when you look at if you go back to the first time you dated someone whether you're a light one unhealed whatever um the first person that you got into a relationship with then look at all the relationships you've ever had is there a, um is there a, what's the word is there a repeating pattern did you always argue? Was that person always insecure? Was it about money? Or was it about that person always wanting to go out and party? Whatever it was, there is going to be a single denominator in that, and that is you, not them. It's not that, you know, you know, I always choose the wrong person. You attract what it is that you are in, what's the word, magnating out, because we co-create our own human experience. This pushes us to go all the way back into our childhood and look at the experiences that we had with our own care providers. Now, I am not a licensed therapist. This is my opinion. OK, so please take the advice of a professional therapist over mine before you take mine. However, for light ones, for, you know, this divine counterpart coming forward and for this toxic partner, the only way that you break a cycle is by realising that you are already in one and then taking actionable steps to heal yourself and any biases that you may have that are contributing to you staying in that, okay? The mental health sector. Whoever this toxic partner is definitely needs mental health support, okay? And smoke lens upside down. There's a lot of attachments here. And I had said um, in my previous video, this is about soul fragmentation, okay? Soul fragmentation, in my opinion, is when 
something so traumatic happens to us when we are children or when we're teenagers that we can't deal with it so what we do is we we arm ourselves to it we repress it and we we more or less leave that in that timeline as we move on so as adults you know there is still a part of us that's been repressed that hasn't been healed that's just been hidden okay and someone here needs to address this someone needs to do the hard healing that's painful because this person is in balance they aren't healed and they are still trying to attach and they're not just trying to attach to whoever it is that separated and moved away because they realize what was happening to them or how they were being manipulated but they're also trying to attach and project this energy towards whoever it is that this divine counterpart is moving towards okay anything else that would like to come out oh yes 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 this is also to do with jealousy there seems to be um, the energy of whoever it is that's projecting. They're just not impressed that you're still getting your career level up, that this is still coming forward. Um, you have someone here who's an Aquarius as well, who may be going through a massive career level up. Or this could be the person that's sending this towards an, Aqu uh, an Aquarius. Or they could be Aquarius themselves. Okay, you also have Candle Magic coming out and you have Stalker and you have Pastoral, okay? You have, and again, this is to do with this community, all right? This community that's been very, very aggressive in how they have been gang stalking, how they have been, if it, it, whether that is um, in the physical realm or whether this is in the etheric realm, okay? And you've got Candle Magic and it says burning petitions, runes and symbols, working with deities, fey, salt circles, black candle, return to sender as above, so below, and intent is key. I feel also there's a frustration from this Pisces energy over here about how um, tapped in and intuitive um, this light one is. This light one that has been returning everything that's been sent to them. And they, there's, there's confusion also why nothing is sticking. Nothing's sticking. Okay. The people that they have kind of banded into stalk or, you know, to troll or whatever it is that they're doing. Or those who are still stuck in their self node. Those who are governed by fear, insecurity, um, secret competition with each other. Pastoral. And it's crazy because it revolves around someone's church interesting anything else from here i've been told yes should i open it i've been told no to shuffle okay but you've also got here divine messages expect your connection to the divine to ramp up vivid dreams vivid uh, viv visions aha moments signs and synchronicities and smoke cleanse someone has been trying to block this because with smoke cleanse upside down it's been removed whatever it was that this light one had on them because i keep seeing the third eye whatever was on the third eye has been removed but with smoke cleansing or cleansing in general it's something that needs to be done on a daily basis because you wash your body on a daily basis you brush your teeth on a daily basis you need to be cleansing away other people's projections on a daily basis because all of these things like you know candle magic and so it's just energy and we share energy on a daily basis, whether you're talking to somebody else, whether you walk past, you know, and see someone with a dog and you stop and stroke them, that is an exchange of energy. You need to be cleansing that away and grounding it every day, okay? Because look, as above, as above and smoke cleanse. When you removed this, or this light one removed this, it, it opened the doors for opportunities I had divine blessings that have been fated to come in anyway, okay, because this has always been about a delay rather than a missed opportunity. No matter what it is that is being sent, it's only going to make a delay, and anyway, delays are, de are divinely orchestrated either way, no matter whose hand they're sent at. What else needs to come out? What needs to come out? Why am I being told about this? Pastoral, pastoral. Why did that card come out? Pastoral, please and thank you. There you go. Because you have somebody who is using some sort of spiritual book and has a lot of weight in their community, but has those two faces, you know, because it says here obsessed obsessed death spells, deviant sexual thoughts about you, polyamorous love spells and sexual dreams. Okay, you have someone here who has been trying to use candle magic themselves to do with money. It's been to do with stealing money and your career level up. 
what else would like to come out no more different deck what deck that one okay i haven't used this one in a while let me see what else wants to come out a safe place for you to go and the time has come the time is to act now okay somebody's been asked to look in their akashic records but i heard it's more than that there's an initiation or a key or something they want to give you look the gift of sacred light come on now there's a connection that's coming through and i'm hearing like the wedding bells dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. it's almost like that's what they have been trying to stop for a while a safe place for you to go and again i'm getting blue there's something about your home this is why this death spells haven't worked and somebody is somebody i heard someone's in penance wisdom as light as a feather why did i get wisdom as light as a feather please and thank you whoa 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 what way to come out you will not let you will not let fear stop you this time it's because you're not standing in fear that's something they didn't expect they're not standing in fear and it says look at the bigger picture here okay and then it says what needs to be aligned the the gift of sacred light will come to you what you need to know will come to you when you whether you're a light one and an unhealed one somebody else when you actually focus on your heart space okay the elder an elder will teach you so you have some sort of um either guardian ancestor uh spirit guide someone coming through so they're going to help you they're going to help you release whatever it is that's blocked here and that's irrespective if, if you are a light one or you're unhealed wisdom is light as a feather okay you have especially with this leo energy here you have an ancestor who may have been a leo uh may have been born in there's something that happened in um the season of the lion okay this may have been a lionscape previous and they have something they want to give you wow okay no the portal for lionscape has opened up the doors to this ancestor to come through and they have advice for you a safe place for you to go which is them they haven't been able to contact you they haven't been able to connect with you or this light one and now they're coming through new skills advanced training rapid improvements okay it's also almost like um an ancestor because many ancestors walked away from whoever this person was that was projecting and doing these things to a light one someone's turned around and said this is your last chance take my hand let's heal together okay i can teach you new things you know i can help you with your heart space maybe you'll be able to get your gifts back but you have to forgive yourself and you have to forgive you have to ask for forgiveness from others okay and it says it is all right to be alone and someone doesn't like this someone is saying that i can't do this alone okay there may be there's a bit of desperation there and maybe a bit of depression as well okay because someone is praying or someone's doing affirmations asking for forgiveness but they're half almost like when you're scared of something and when you think of a child and they're like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry if there really is a god i will eat all of my green beans if you can just do this for me if you just do this for me i'll be so thankful i you know i'll go to church every sunday and blah blah, blah. and then they get what they want and then they don't eat all their green beans and they don't go to church and they don't do all the things that they said they would at the moment this is what this energy is giving me of this toxic partner of the you know i'm gonna pray please get me out of this hole but right now there isn't any um genuinity or any kind of um tangible um what's the word actionable steps this person's going to take because they, they feel very stuck in the rut and maybe also panicking of what do i do next because yeah look you've got alice in the sea of tears cast away out of your depth feeling abandoned okay this person on the surface level does feel like this but it's almost like if they were given that hand of help now and everything went away they wouldn't take those actionable steps to heal even though they need to and you've also got here little brother little sister siblings younger friends and responsibility okay so this could be a sibling of yours this could be a sibling in law as well but it also says responsibility this person it's almost like they're on a seesaw of i need to take responsibility for my actions i actually need to repent and then going but i don't need to i just need you to dig me out of this hole you've also got cancer energy here as well so this is home life okay they may be losing their home 
that it's maybe that they've been sending things to your home because you've got find solutions in unknown places in the darkness and again passed away out of your depth and feeling abandoned upside down they need to heal rather than scheme they need to heal and look into their own um the recesses recesses of their own shadow rather than constantly trying to scheme in how to dig themselves out of a hole is what i'm hearing i am reborn look at the advice there this is the advice that is coming for whoever this unhealed one is which is find solutions in unknown places in the darkness which is shadow work and then it says the butterfly ferrets i am reborn to truly get yourself out of this hole to truly save yourself you need to do the shadow work you need to honor the pieces of you that hurt and heal them and only then will this tower stop falling around you and you won't have to catch anything. I feel like this is the energy that has been sent for so long because this person actually does need help, but they don't know how to ask for it. And it's not our responsibility to help and fix everyone else, okay? We are responsible for our own triggers. We are responsible for our own wounds, okay? Because again, we co-create our own human reality. And you've got serpentine path to power and i am reborn this person needs to empower themselves rather than letting themselves be used by others okay what else needs to come out please and thank you it's coming out again okay because you've got here serpentine path to power and i am not a victim upside down this person is disempowered okay whoever this toxic partner is um, it's almost like they give away their power by wanting to just be nothing more than a sugar baby. They give away their power by energy harvesting from others rather than healing. Right, why was I shown this? Because this wanted to come out Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay, and playing the victim, I think maybe for a very long time, brought them in a lot of money, brought them in a lot of surface level material things. Okay. But it didn't, it kind of blocked communication to their own I am presence. Why am I being shown this? Change deck. Should I have a look at this one? No. Okay. What would you like me to get out? Which one? This one. Let's have a look. And we've got, yeah, add some. This is all about connecting with your guides, your, your um, ancestors, and it being upside down. They've shunned their ancestors and they've shunned the advice that was given to them from their ancestors for so long that they don't know how to lead with their intuition or they've blocked it because their intuition tells them where they're going wrong. Why am I being shown this? What else needs to come out? And I heard, oh, how the tables have turned. Oh, how the tables have turned. And I heard a bully. Who is a bully so this person this toxic energy could have been a bully they could have bullied siblings they could have bullied other family members the kashik field upside down and you also have loving elementals upside down okay so whoever it is that was their guides turned their backs because they realized this person was given so many opportunities to heal and they refused to and instead they went to somebody someone this pastoral over here who was a bully also because i'm hearing narcissist and with the akashic field upside down there was somebody who tried to get into the akashic records of a light one and it didn't work because i heard readings gone wrong why did i hear readings gone wrong readings gone wrong let me see what wants to come out not that one the top one the bird's nest this person I don't know if this person helped in a homeless shelter or this a church may have had like a soup kitchen or something like that the lightning bolt yeah the, i don't know if at some point they met somebody in a soup kitchen this person may have been um, hard on their luck but it was something to do with candle magic that was sent by this community this pastoral community and they kind of manipulated them into helping so this is where they're getting their stalkers from yeah the master artist art, artisan so we have like a we do have a pastor or a preacher or something like that that's the head of this interesting 
I'm sorry if this is all over the place. The energy is just, this is how it's coming out. So this is how I'm reading it. Let me see if I can get you from here. Okay. Now, when I picked this deck up, it was super heavy, like super heavy. Someone is having to push through challenges. It's like the divine counterpart. Okay. Someone got um, readings or well, someone's tried to get a reading on someone someone's been doing this astrally as well they've been trying to um, tap into a light one's energy they've been doing this for a while but they kind of blocked out their own ancestors by doing this because you've got ancestors upside down to so autumn why have i been getting such a messy read today i've been told to go back to the argument so they ah so they got a reading on their partner, the one who had a massive argument with them, that wanted to go into separation, looking for kind of um, guidance or advice on why. No, I heard the other way around. This divine counterpart went and got a reading and found out that that person actually isn't part of their soul tribe, isn't divine. Yeah, and that their ancestors have walked away. Ooh. Okay, anything else that would like to come out? Why am I being shown this? Please and thank you. That they had been playing with things that they shouldn't have been playing with. Okay, and they had also been blocking this person from moving away because of money. They purposely put a block in or a binding in. Why am I being shown this again? Why did this... Okay, freedom and stability someone had been bleeding this person dry of their money for a while now this containment wants to go over here this person may have lost out on a lot of business ventures because of their toxic partner it wants to come out yeah someone put a freezer spell whoa okay whoever this toxic partner was did not respect who they were with it was almost like they were pushed into it also by their mother but on the pretext that this would make a lot of money, they were frozen out of the Akashic records of their of the divine counterpart. Okay, and there was some sort of karma that happened for them doing this because whoever this divine counterpart's ancestors were, they were really angry at the disrespect, at the disrespect. We have altar here. You have fertility. This person may have um, tried to get themselves pregnant with this divine counterpart to get them to stay. That might be what the argument was about, you know. They found out that the pregnancy, the child wasn't actually theirs. Ooh, yeah. They were trying to get them to stay without a doubt because this is clearance. They were trying to hold on to them. This is messy Jerry Spring on kind of energy, isn't it? Magic. They tried something to do with candle magic that actually didn't work or was blocked because you have underneath here an elder will teach you okay and some sort of gift of sacred light they tried to block this divine counterpart from finding out about this as well not only the pregnancy but how long they had bound this person or stopped them from coming towards who they should actually be with who is their twin flame let me see what else wants to come up top one yeah, they block their spirits. They block their spirit guides. They block their spirit guides also from letting them know about this money. They were trying to take, what was it? I heard hospitality, someone's in hospital. Who's in hospital right now? Okay, well, there you go. This toxic energy, this toxic partner, whoever it was, who in one of my previous videos was looking at making a paste to do something to someone's pets or to um, try and subdue someone's guardian is in hospital at the moment, okay? Because they tried to, they, whoever it was that they tried to um, overcome or whoever's guardians they tried to overcome were too powerful. They were way too powerful. That one really wants to come out. Yeah, because as much as that says summer and this is like the sun card, this is solar power. This is raw energy. Where would you want me to put it? Yeah, they couldn't contain it. Let me leave it on this one. Is there anything else that would like to come up before I go? What's underneath here? Oh, any? 
I have been told to put it back. Okay, let me put that one back. Let me just take this one. Let's see what else would like to come out. What a messy read. Let me see. Okay, what would like to come out? Anything else that I need to know? It says, you're the ish. That's it. That's it. Whoever it was, this, this kitchen witch, this toxic partner that has been holding onto this divine counterpart or trying to put their hooks into the, the, the divine counterpart for however long, they know who you are. They know how powerful you are. There's a lot of anger there and a lot of secret competition rather than just healing. And you've got you're a hot mess, fact, clean yourself up and they're hiding this. You look like an ish show and it's upside down, okay? And this is orange. This is to do with family. This is definitely to do with family. And it just says move the F on, time to let go. This person needs to give up the ghost. They need to let go of blocking this divine masculine or family from coming forward. Because they're actually like, they're hurting themselves physically as well. They're hurting themselves by continuously trying to attach whatever it is that they are. You need some, it says you need some effing yoga in your life and it's upside down. This person may have back issues or joint issues and it says ancient ish is cool. This person needs to start looking after themselves. You guys may have had, may be waking up with stiff backs or joints or things like that. That is whatever they're sending. You need to send that back. Just send it back. Put the effing phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad go talk to a life person okay this person may be looking through their phone at contacts to see who else they can actually manipulate into helping them and i heard it's finished it's finished why did i hear that a very very messy sad energy today that's what i get i get very a, a big feeling of grief or sadness and it says, wake up, you're missing some cool ish. Up or down, down. And it says, stop sleeping so damn much. I'm sorry for swearing. This person does not sleep. This person has insomnia. They may have tried sending this to you. You may be having like erratic sleep patterns at the moment as well. Remember, we are going through an energy shift. But whatever's being sent, make sure that you just send it back to them. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you're new to my channel and you liked what you heard and it resonated for you, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You make... These readings and what I do so worthwhile. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, if anyone is moved to send a donation, which is never, never expected, but always greatly appreciated, or you wish to have a personal private reading, remember all my readings are pre-recorded and there is a turnaround time of uh, 48 to 72 hours which means if you book with me on a Monday you may not get your reading until two to three days later because I am a one-woman band with children at home and I do try my best to balance my work to my social or home life okay so please be patient and I thank you for that um, all of that information is down below okay thank you so much I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day wherever you are in the world bye